So here's another one of those find the missing coordinates of the parallelogram. They told you it's a parallelogram. Since it's a parallelogram, yeah, it's there's a couple things you can do here, and I'll, I'll use yellow to show you so that it's not so bright. That right there, that distance right there is A, and that distance is also right here. That's also A. Okay? So if this is A, I shouldn't have used yellow. That's too, it's a little too light. Let me use orange. That distance right there is also A. So if that distance is A, what do we have here? We have C is to right here. So this distance is C. Right there, that full distance is C. And I'm going to add, to get to this point right here, I have to add another what? To get to that. I have to add another A. A. So what's the total distance from here to here? It's C plus A. A. So what's this value right here? C, C plus, plus A. A. That's C plus A. That's your X coordinate, C plus A. The distance up is pretty easy because you can see that the distance up is right there. That's B. Mm -hmm. So that distance is B. also B. So there's that point. This point, notice um, going to the, how far am I going to up right here? If it's on the x-axis, how far up am I going? Tell me what this point would be right here. Which point? I mean, Which point? This point right here. That's A, right? No, wait, no that's, that's, that's C. So that's it's C. C comma what? B. Zero. No, C comma zero. Because oh. remember, how C is how far over, left or right I go, and oh, okay. zero is how far up or down I go. And this point right here, obviously, is just zero zero. zero, zero. So your four points are zero, zero, C, zero, A, comma, B, and C plus A, comma, B. Okay. That's how you do that problem.